Hey, folks, I got a great question from Hunter at the top there um, on the recording is, you know, what's what is natural law? And um, so there's going to be a little professional thing. But for now, think of the word that there are forces in the universe that are at work. And I knew these things were at work as a child, like, you know, when you when you say something that you regret, or you do something that's mean to someone else, you know, the old golden rule really resonated with me. Not an eye for an eye kind of thing. I, you know, like some cultures, I think in Islam, I was talking to a man, you know, if you're, if you're a thief, they cut off a, a finger every time you steal something or a digit. Mm -hmm. Because that's the punishment. So the, the, the level of theft is very low because the penalty is so severe. Now, it's a little severe for me, but you see, those are natural law then is, you know, they call it karma in India, right? The law of cause and effect. I'll give you one example of my own karma. My cause and effect in my life is within 24 hours. Mm -hmm. Example, I used to, to do spit wads as a kid. I got a straw and I would chew up Kleenex and get it all wet and, choo -choo and shoot it at people. You know, age five to maybe nine or 10, finally got over it. Choo -choo -choo -choo. And then um, a little older, I had some friends that and I'm not proud of this, but I had friends that they, I was driving in their car and I didn't agree with it, but I had to go along with it. Otherwise I would have gotten beaten up is they had coat hangers and they would, you know, like just terrorize people, whip them, throw melted ice creams on people, splash water, go into puddles in the rain and splash bus stops of kids, all kinds of horrendous acts. I, I wish I witnessed people do. And I did a bus stop myself once and probably 10 people. Uh, I will confess that was Oh my God, the splash of water was, was worth it, I have to admit. Um, but uh, not anymore. So those acts then, so for example, at one point I put my arm out the window and hit somebody on a bike, I think, you know, just kind of on the shoulder or the butt. And then the next day, no, no, that's right. I threw a half melted Eskimo pie on a grandma in a bench. That's what it was. And boy, I paid for that one. Yeah, a half melted Eskimo pie on a grandma on a bench. Boy, this is the confessional. The next day I'm riding my bike up Capitola Road. Some people know what I'm talking about. And it's, it's a pretty fast road for Santa Cruz. And I hear this motorcycle coming and I can feel like a hundred angels coming up with it. And I'm, I'm thinking to myself, oh, that motorcycle is like, sounds like doom. And so there was a woman on the back, it turns out, and a man riding it. And the woman, they were going good 35 miles an hour and slapped me as hard as she could I was kind of pedaling up the hills halfway standing up and almost knocked me off my bike. It, my ass was sore for two days. And, um, and she just waved as they drove away. She just waved like that. Not no flip off, just a wave. And I was like, that was my angel right there. That was my freaking angel telling me, stop being an asshole because that's what, you did this to someone else and now you get to feel it. Every act we do to another there is a, there's a place where we're on, put on the other side of it, whether it's this lifetime or the next. And um, I was talking to Nicoletta today about, you know, so nat natural law then is about understanding the forces at work. Who am I? You know, what is this thing I call Craig Lane, Hunter Francis, Gene Sibley, Kurt? You know, what is this thing I call myself? Um, how do I keep it well maintained? And how do I honor it? What, what does honor even mean? How, what does it mean to live in honor? And then what's the game I'm in? Because there's obviously some rigged game going on. Any soul that has seen the slightest bit sees the game is being unveiled because that's the meaning of apocalypse is the lids coming off. And, you know, can you stomach it is the question. The two meridians, most people in acupuncture that are most off when I do my body work is gallbladder and stomach. Why? Gallbladder is on the sides, deciding between this and that. So too many decisions in the three-dimensional world equals overwhelm of the gallbladder system. Then stomaching. How much can you take in? How much can you emotionally stomach? How much information can you take in? How much can you eat? It's all stomaching. And so if we overwhelm our system with too much stomaching up here in our brain and fear we our digestion shuts down i know these things as fact but people still they poo poo it because it's subtle science but to me after 35 years and 50,000 hours later there, there's no doubt in my mind and so 
I can sit here with conviction and say natural law is understanding how this thing works, how it fits into the game out there, understanding that the word play and the mind messing and the gaslighting and the inversions and the love that's actually there that we're veiled from. As my teacher likes to say, the love, the peace, the satisfaction we seek is always and already present. So if it's always and already present, then what's happening to me that's veiling me from it? And that's the game we're in. And then the final three classes out of the 20, we go through the larger view of the planet and how we kind of fit and how we can thrive. And then there's a little referral to the Thrive people, um, the Gambles for their great work with the Thrive movement and the 12 sectors and all the stuff that they're doing. So... Hmm. So is 